Turn a 3D object into a volumetric cloud with Cloudify, a modifier for Blender 5 and above that transforms watertight meshes into atmospheric cloud-like volumes you control. It is built on Blender 5's new grid system, which allows us to manipulate 3D voxel data directly inside Blender. That means we can take a mesh, convert it into a density grid, distort it with noise, and render it as a full volumetric cloud, all procedurally. For more details on how this is done, see my previous tutorial on volume displacement linked in the description. This technique opens up a lot of interesting creative possibilities. Anything that needs a soft cloud-like form can be generated directly from your mesh, allowing you control over the shape. It's also a great way to learn Blender's new grid technology because you can inspect the entire node graph and see exactly how it works. The modifier has a custom section which you can use to add your own volume distortion effects as well. A quick warning, this workflow isn't for the faint-hearted. It is processor intensive and if you reduce the voxel size too much, Blender will slow down or even crash. For best results, use a fairly capable PC, ideally 32 gigs of RAM or more and a dedicated GPU. To install the Cloudify modifier, Download two important files, the cloudify.blend file containing the modifier asset, the accompanying Blender Assets Cats.txt file, which tells Blender to assign the modifier to the deform category in Blender. Add these files into a folder where you would like to keep the modifier asset. Then, add this folder as a Blender Asset Library folder. You can add this under Edit Preferences, File Paths, Asset Libraries. Here, click the plus button and select the folder. Before closing the window, click the Save Preferences option under the bottom left hand menu as well. Cloudify should now appear in the Generate section when you add a new modifier. Use Cloudify as follows. Firstly, select the object and apply scale by pressing Ctrl A so Cloudify can perform its displacement calculations accurately. Make sure the mesh is watertight in nature. A watertight mesh is a model that has no holes, gaps or open edges anywhere in its surface. Think of it like a sealed container. If you filled it with water, nothing would leak out. For Cloudify, this is important because Blender needs a closed shape in order to properly convert it into a density grid. If your mesh has cracks or missing faces, the volume can fail to generate correctly. Before I add the Cloudify modifier, for the best results, I will switch to Cycles and then go to the Shader tab and select the World option. Add in a sky texture and connect this to the background node. This will provide us with some good lighting to view the cloud with, which is key to getting good effects with volumes in Blender. Then, go to the Modifier panel on the right hand side and click Add Modifier. Go to the Generate section and Cloudify should appear as an option. When the modifier is added to your object, there will be a variety of controls, each with tooltips. At a high level, here's what Cloudify does under the hood. It takes your mesh and converts it into a density grid, creates a slightly expanded grid around it to allow displacement, uses noise to generate directional vectors and pushes and pulls the voxel densities to form wispy clouds or snow-like structures. 
and then adds a volumetric material for rendering. Increase or decrease the voxel size depending on your hardware. Smaller voxel sizes will increase the detail at the expense of performance. Tweak the displacement controls and noise settings until you get an effect you like. If you want to export the volume as a VDB, you can use the bake node within the geometry node setup to save a VDB. With the modifier selected, in the geometry nodes editor, locate and select the bake node. Press N to make the side properties panel appear and select the node tab. Change the bake target to disk, tick custom path and select a path of your choosing. Click bake to disk. Once this is complete, go to the path you selected and within it open the blobs folder. The VDB should be there ready to use. If you have any issues with these instructions, do not hesitate to contact me on info at configurate.net. If you want to understand the underlying method in more detail, I've made a full tutorial on volume displacement in Blender 5, where I build this technique step by step. This and the link to get Cloudify is linked in the description. I'm really interested about what Blender 5 enables with its new grid system, and Cloudify is just scratching the surface. The custom setting in the modifier allows you a space to add your own custom noise effects in the Geometry Nodes editor. If you create something with Cloudify, I'd love to see it. Thank you for watching and enjoy experimenting yourself.